technology is fantastic because it, it gives us the opportunity to do things that wouldn't be possible without that technology so if we're thinking about that sort of a world you know the, the simulations and activities that learners can uh, can engage with um uh, through virtual reality are fantastic um, and, and if you can find a compelling case uh, if one of the issues, Wolfgang, with technology is, is when sometimes schools buy it, they're, they're, they're wowed by the cool things that it can do, but yeah. it's not being purchased in, in a way which actually is, is being done to solve a problem. You know, knowing your school well, knowing what the issues your school is facing, uh, and then looking for technology to provide solutions to those problems is a much better way of going than going, oh, that's cool, we could try and use it. And, and then, you know, it's, it's like trying to put that, it's that adage, isn't it, about trying to put a, a, a round peg in a square hole. Um, that they're never really going to fit quite right. And, and I often share about technology that's gimmicky as well, because whilst I'm, you know, you, you both know me well, you know I'm, I'm, I'm probably one of the geekiest people you all know, but just because you're, you love technology doesn't mean to say that you should necessarily use it. And so, you know, having some your your the pillars we talked about before that you'll come up with, they'll end up forming and being your north stars. And so, when you're thinking about technology, you might want to invest in in the future. Look to your pillars. You know, do, do, do these technologies meet the things we're trying to achieve as a school as part of our digital strategy? With these pillars, we're trying to hang things off. So, mm -hmm. I mentioned well-being as, as an issue before. So, if well-being is a priority for you and one of your pillars, then what products can you get in place to support both your uh, teaching community, your mm -hmm. student? Community, your wider community uh, around their well-being and so yeah that, that that's always my sort of approach always Moore's law means that technology is always going to improve get faster and become you know more interesting and so forth and so on but it's about being guided by our sort of our, our not necessarily moral compass but certainly the the compass that that, that our, our pillars in our digital strategy give us that will help us make the right decisions i think